Hello everyone and welcome back to the third episode of the Figma Best Practices series. On the last episode, we saw how we can create field components with their variants to showcase their different states. So I would strongly recommend you catch up with the last episode before watching this one. So in this episode, we're going to be using the components that we designed on the previous two episodes to create our first form, a login page. Let's start designing our first login page. We can see that to do that, I uh, need to be on the low fidelity discovery page, where is the page I will be using to start designing wireframes or forms or whatever it might be. And I want to go and get my first sort of components that I have to create this form, which is the login page. So I want to add an open text field to get my users to type in their username. Then of course I want my users to be able to type their passwords. I'm going to get my password field as well. And then I want to get a button. So I want to hide the arrow. So see that this Boolean property that I created earlier can simply hide the arrow as simple as that when I am on a different file. And in this case, I want to be using my black button. So let's name this button as login. And I want to add something like forgot password here. And I want to give this a new styling. And the reason is because I want to make this look clickable or tappable. So I want to give this some underline. So I'm going to detach this style. And I want to reduce that down to 14 pixels. And 130% looks fine. Uh, so I just want to give this the underline over here. And then I want to select this text with the password field, group them, and then add some auto layout, give them a spacing of eight pixels. And there we have it. Then I want to make sure that I have given this a fill container width. You will see just in a moment why I've done this. Then I want to make a second text for this page, which will be the title, page title. So let's write login, detach the style. I want to make this look like the title, so I want to make this bigger. Let's say 24 pixels, perhaps make it bold. And then some more line spacing, 130%. So that looks fine to me now as a page title. So I will create the style. So let's name this H1. Another thing I just noticed is I forgot to create this style over here. So I want to name this as well, create this style. Let's name this underline 14. So we have created two new text styles as well. And let's start auto aligning everything on this page. First, I want to make sure that I have auto aligned the two fields. So I want to select the two first, the frame and then the field and then group them, add some auto layout and make sure that I know the spacing that I give them. So I want to give them a spacing of 32, keep this as aligned to the top left. Then again, always remember to do some fill container. And then what I want to do is perhaps add a second button here as well. And that might be something like register. So I want to add the registration button as well to take me to the registration page in case I haven't got an account. And I want the button to be a little bit more different to this one. So I want to make sure that users know that that other one, the other button is a secondary, in which case I want to create a new button style, which will be the text only button. So to do that again, I will just go back to my library and then find my buttons here, my button set, and then create a new variant. In this case, I want to probably create a new variant from the first button, the default primary button that I have, and then name this text only or just text because it will be my text button. And I want to reduce the sizing of this 
to down to 40 so i want to give it a less height and then i just want to remove the background so there we have it text button is created we can then see it here so if i drag and drop another button here i can see it on the list here text button in which case i want to select this again i want to also hide the icon that i have given it before and go write something like a call to action like register so i've created the new call to action here as well then i want to select the two buttons together group them add some auto layout and give them a smaller spacing of 16 pixels and then i want to make sure that i remember to choose fill container and fill container for both buttons then what i want to do is select all of them together to create the actual spacing so i want to select the login the frame and also the frame with the buttons so in which case let's rename the frames as fields frame fields and buttons frame so let's select all the frames together group them add some auto layout and then give the spacing of 48 so that now they all have a spacing of 48 apart from the previous fields that we have created and again i want to make sure that i am using fill container also fill container here and then select the frame again and i want to double check that i've done everything correct in which case it looks like i've done everything correct I will check in a moment to make sure that I've done everything correct once I create the wireframe. And of course, now is the moment to create the wireframe. So I wanna go here on frames. I wanna select a pre-selection, let's make an iPhone 14. And then I wanna add the auto layout here always as well. Second step always after adding the frame. And then I wanna make sure I've got the fixed width and fixed height and then give this a zero spacing it doesn't matter right now maybe it will matter in a bit once we have more components inside the same page and then i want to make sure i have a margin a padding of 16 from the sides maybe even 24 and then i want to make give this a 96 padding from the top in case i'm going to be adding a status bar and then a 48 from the bottom, even though most likely we're not going to be going all the way to the bottom of this very page. So now we have successfully created our frame to be our first kind of wireframe space. So what we can do now is either drag and drop or cut paste. So I'm just going to drag and drop my component inside. Then I want to double check that this is aligning to the top and to make sure that this is not as small as it seems i can always again select the frame and then fill container and you can see now everything has stretched to fill the container you cannot see the fields here and for you to be able to see the fields i will change the background let's give this a gray background it seems like something didn't change so you can always double check what you have forgotten. So in this case, I have forgotten to give this a fill width from before. And now there we have it. So we have successfully created our first login page. And with the same logic, you can always create a registration page or whatever type of form page you might have in mind. So yeah, thank you very much for watching the third episode. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay tuned to the next episodes to come. And again, if you feel like this content was helpful to you, feel free to share around with your team and see you in the next episode. Bye.